Now, I've avoided arrays in Excel VBA for years. They just looked too difficult for me. But in recent times, I've started using arrays in Excel VBA and they are super powerful. In this video, I'm going to take you through arrays step by step. Even if you're a beginner in Excel VBA, you're going to start feeling the power of Excel VBA arrays. With that said, let's get into the download file. And this is a beginner video, so we need to go through the key concepts and the key techniques in order to understand things. But first, what was the real world application that got me using arrays in Excel VBA? Well, a customer said to me, I want to get the text in this cell into separate rows. And you can see in this cell, we've got some semicolons. So we want to separate out the text according to those semicolons so that it looks something like this over on the right. And you might say to me, well, Chris, we can just use formulae to do that, the find formula and the mid formula, for example, and I've enclosed a solution using formulae here. But what if you didn't have the spreadsheet real estate to do it with formulae? And what if you just wanted a slicker, smoother, more powerful, faster solution? That's what arrays in Excel VBA is going to give us. So that's our motivation. Let's build a bit of a conceptual foundation first. Firstly, What's an array? What do we mean by an array? Well, the best way to think about an array is just like a range of values in the spreadsheet here. So this range, I've got three cells in and those cells in turn, they contain values. So this is the best way to think about an array. It's just we can't always see it. If it's in VBA, we won't be able to see it, but we can kind of make it visible. We'll see how in this video. We've got this concept of a delimiter. And a delimiter is that particular character, in my case, a semicolon, that we want to use to separate the text. So we've got the concept of delimiting and delimit lim a delimiter and then counting through. Yes, so an array is going to be set up like this in VBA's memory. We want to be able to count through it to do something with the individual values in the array, in this case, to input them to rows. So there's our concepts, what techniques are going to help us. Well, you might have seen the split function in Excel VBA that helps us get started with arrays. We've got to do a special variable declaration with some brackets at the end that tells Excel we want to build an array. And then we've got these L bound and U bound, U -bound functions. They allow us to understand how many values are in the array. And then, as I said, to work with those values. So we're going to get started in just a second. But if you haven't already, make sure you've downloaded our Excel cheat sheet. Here it is. I've laid it out for you. The 21 formulae, 13 Excel techniques that you need to know. It comes with our Excel trainer tool. It's absolutely free. The download link is in the video description below. I will see you there. So let's get into this one. Let's get into the VBA editor, Alt F11 here on the Windows PC. And as always, we're going to start from scratch, option explicit just gives us a bit of support working with variables. If there's spelling mistakes with variables, Excel's going to point those out for us. That's going to save us some time. Let's go ahead and create a new routine. I'm going to say text to rows because our macros should always have informative names. And that's what we're trying to do, isn't it? We're trying to convert this text into rows using uh, arrays in Excel VBA. So let's make the magic happen with this split function. But first, we've got to do that cheeky variable declaration with some brackets on the end. So it's a string variable. I'm going to say Chris array. The reason I use the word Chris is I know it's distinctive. Excel is not using the word Chris for anything else. And certain uh, variable names might be problematic. You don't have to say Chris. You can use your own name or something else. Dim Chris array as string. And then we've got to remember to put these brackets in. And these brackets show Excel that with this string variable, which usually just stores text, of course, we actually want to build an array. So this is our first step. Make sure you've done that variable declaration. Then we can go ahead and say to Excel what we want to put into this variable using this super powerful VBA split function. So with split, as usual, we're getting some prompts here can be useful, sometimes less useful in Excel VBA. All we need to know is where's this coming from, this text, and it's coming from cell C5. And then what's that delimiter, which is, of course, our semicolon. That's how simple it is. I'm going to assume we're working on one sheet for simplicity. I'm not going to put the sheet name in, just going to say range C5. And then what's our delimiter? Well, in my case, 
it's that semicolon that's separating the text. So make sure you put the speech marks in there. Then we can close this. And that's how simple it is working with the split, split function. But what's more difficult is understanding what's happened. You know, this array is there, but how can we actually see it and work with it? Well, you might say, well, Chris, that's easy. You just use a message box for testing when you're working with variables. I'm really happy you thought that because that shows you've got good Excel meta skill. You know how to test and debug. But unfortunately, as we're going to see here, I'm going to hit the F8 key. You can also go to debug and step into to step through the code, hitting the F8 key. And you can see it doesn't work with variables. And I think this is why I just delayed learning uh, arrays. Sorry, it doesn't work with arrays. I think this is, this is why, because I couldn't get my message box uh, trip working. So we need to do a little bit more than that. Let's delete this. And rather than just externalizing everything in a message box, we actually need to count through the values in the array, count through the values in the array, and then we can reference them using numbers. And this is where our L bound and U bound functions are going to help us. So message box, don't worry, there's still usage for us for it in this video. If we say message box L bound, and then our variable name, we're going to start getting some useful information. I'm going to go ahead, control C, control V on the Windows PC, copy this line of code and then go for U bound. So L bound and U bound, what are these going to do? Kind of sounds a bit obscure or maybe you've got an idea hitting the F8 key again. Message box, we've got zero. Hmm. So what does that mean? It's useful F8 again. And then we've got two. So we've got zero to two. So why is it zero to two? Hmm. Well, it's zero to two because arrays, they just start at zero. The first text string in the array is allocated a value of zero, and then it goes zero, one, two. So we've got three little pieces of text in our array. They're allocated a value of zero, one, and two. So arrays always start with a value of zero. And this is another thing that just stumped me four years and stopped me working with arrays in Excel VBA. But aren't with that knowledge, if we know that each value has a number, each entry has a number, could we then externalize that value using that index number? How about that? And maybe message box will help us do that. Let's give it a go. We're going to need another variable to represent that index number what kind of variable is that going to be? It's going to be an integer variable, of course. I'm going to say array counter because it's going to count through the array. And we know we should use informative names for macros. It's going to be an integer or whole number variable. Hmm. OK, so uh, let's temporarily comment these out using the inverted comma. Then I'm going to say message box Chris array which of course is our variable name, then I'm just going to say uh, zero here. Let's just put a number in here. Hmm. So stop the video. What value is going to flash up from the information on the screen? You could work that out. Let's hit the F8 key here and we've got a value ABC flashing up. That's because ABC is, of course, the first text string that we have in our array. Let's go ahead and prove this. Can we get the last one? Remember, it's 0, 1, 2, not 1, 2, 3. So this should give us the last value in the array, which is GHI. And what happens? We've got GHI flashing up. I really recommend taking the time to get to know the array like this and to understand the values that are actually in there. OK, can you see where this where this is going? Can you now put together a solution to get the text into the boxes here. Well, we've got our array counter variable. I'm going to temporarily or maybe permanently comment this out. So we're going to introduce a loop here. We've got lots of videos about loops. If you're not familiar with loops, probably the most powerful Excel VBA technique. So I'm going to say um, for Chris array, we're going to use a for next loop. Sorry, for array counter equals and then I need to give the loop a starting point and an end point. Hmm. Well, what's our starting point going to be? Well, we just practice that. We're going through it step by step. We know this is going to give us a value of zero anyway. Perhaps we could just put zero in that before completeness. I'm going to resize a bit here. For complete completeness, I'm going to use L bound to 
And then what's coming next? Well, as usual, wrestling a bit with the XOVB editor. It's all good. We know we'll get there in the end. And this is the first line of our loop. And this specifies the starting point and the end point, effectively zero to two. So for array counter, well, we've opened a for next loop, so we've got to close it. Then we can say next array counter here. So make sure you're working along with me, building this skill, actually starting to use uh, Excel VBA arrays. So what can we do now? Well, let's first prove that this loop is working and it's actually working through the array. We can do that by saying message box. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and recycle this text here. Message box, Chris array, but now we're going to replace the value. What are we going to replace the value with? It's going to give us that dynamic solution to actually work through the code. Mm. So perhaps you got it, Chris. Um, perhaps, perhaps I'll get it eventually. There we go. Array counter is our integer variable that's counting through our array. So is the magic going to happen now? Hitting the F8 key, we've got the split function doing the work in the background. Then what we're looking for to happen now is to work up and down this loop three times. So array counter now equals zero. So what value is going to flash up now? Hope you got this one. There's ABC. F8 again, we've gone back up the loop the second time through the loop. Array counter now equals now equals one. It's it's zero, one, two, not one, two, three. D, E, F. And then finally, F8 again, what value is going to flash up now? G, H, I flash up there. Then where do we go? Well, we've got to the end of the loop. So now we get to the end of the routine. Hmm. How cool is that? If you can understand how all that works, you can start using uh, arrays in Excel VBA. But we haven't finished our task, task yet. Remember what my customer wanted. My customer wanted to get the text into cells here. So stop the video. What's going to help us? And it's one of my favorites, but what's going to help us get this job done? It's all to do with position control, choosing a starting point and then moving away from that starting point by a certain number of rows. What Excel VBA technique is going to help us there? Let's go ahead and type it in here. So our starting point is going to be cell E5. So I'm going to say range E5, not five, range E5. equals uh, Chris Array Array Counter. Right, let's take an intermediary step. Let's see what happens now. We're looking for values to appear in the spreadsheet. In cell E5, which is currently selected, we can see ABC appearing there, DEF appearing there, GHI appearing there. I'm getting excited. Almost done with this task. Can you finish it? Can you stop the video now? What's the little sprinkle of magic to bring everything together here? Yes. We're talking about position control. We're talking about the offset method in Excel VBA. So if we now move away from E5, by what value? Yeah. What's going to help us? Well, it's fish and chips. It's offset working with a variable. Our array counter variable is going up by a value of one each time we go through the loop. So we use array counter to control how many rows down we're moving with the offset method. It's fish and chips. It's a combination we've seen many times on the Tiger YouTube channel. These two techniques synergize together beautifully. And let's see the magic happen, hitting the F8 key, ABC. And now array counter has incremented up one, which should take us onto row six. We can see DEF appearing there. And then finally, GHI appearing. All good stuff. Let's do it. Um, clear this out and let's just play the macro rather than stepping through it. Reset everything. You ready to punch the air? Let's hit play. And yes, we've got there a race in Excel VBA. I was scared of them to begin with. How did I work it out? By going through it very slowly, step by step, just like this. Make sure, guys, you download the Excel cheat sheet. I've laid out, out all for you, the things you need to know, the formulae and the technique's going to save you time. It comes with our Excel uh, formula trainer tool too. That's going, to that's going to expand your Excel formula vocabulary. The next video to watch, guys, is in the pinned comment below this video. I'll see you there.